Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we're gonna talk about oil change in two different cases. First, draining the oil with the oil cap and dipstick on. And the second oil change, I will be removing the oil cap and removing the dipstick and drain the oil. It will help the air enter the engine and gives better draining to the engine oil, in theory. But we'll see, and I will show you both ways with proof and recording the draining time. With the same engine oil weight, same engine temperature, and the same place where the car parked it. Alright, the first oil change will be with closed cap and dipstick on. Let's go ahead and put them back. And I will also measure the engine temperature as well. We know engine oil viscosity changes with temperature. So the engine cover is about 74 degrees Celsius. And the engine oil pan, which is the important one, 69 Celsius. Alright, let's do the first oil change. Drain pan under the car. Let's open the drain bolt and start the timer. I'm gonna let it drain in real time till 10 seconds and then I'm gonna speed it up to 3 times of actual speed and freeze the frame when the oil thins out in one spot and time it. But at the end of the video, I will leave the whole draining procedure in actual time with and without cap side by side. So stick around till end of the video to see that in actual time. So after the oil drains and thins out and we're gonna catch it in one spot 54 seconds with the cap and dipstick on. Okay, this is the next oil change. We can remove the oil cap and the dipstick and drain the oil. Keep in mind the engine about the same temperature and I use the same grid oil and the car at the same level. So just like I did with the first draining, I'm gonna let it drain till 10 seconds in actual time. And then I'm gonna speed it up till 3 times of actual speed and freeze the frame in one spot and time it. So the reason I did this video I was getting comments sometimes when I didn't open the oil cap and drain the engine oil or transmission oil. So in this video, we will see the difference with proof and both have good and bad points. So with the engine oil cap open, the oil drain it in 48 seconds, which is 6 seconds faster than closed cap. So with the engine oil cap open or closed, the difference were 6 seconds. For me, it's not a big deal. I prefer to drain the engine oil with the cap closed to prevent dropping any small object or debris in the engine. And another question you may ask, why I stopped the timer after the oil were thin in the drain bolt. Because when the oil thins out in the drain bolt, it will allow the air to enter the engine, so it will be like the cap open. So I continued removing the oil filter, and many people been asking if they should fill the oil filter or not. You can do it, but even if you don't do it, not a problem. For example, this car's oil filter at the side of the engine. If I fill the oil filter with the oil and put it on the engine, it will spill the oil all over the engine. So on cars like this, not a problem if you fill it or not. But on heavy duty diesel engines, you have to fill the oil filter. But what is important things to do, loop the seal and hand tighten it only. So with the engine oil cap open or closed not affecting that much to the draining procedure, it was only 6 seconds. For me, I prefer to train the engine oil with the cap closed to prevent dropping anything in the engine accidentally. So that's for this video. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will leave you with actual training time with cap open and closed side by side.